Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try that problem on your own. All right, so let's read this problem together. They tell us to express the product, that means multiply, um, of these two things in standard form. So the first thing they give us is this trinomial, three terms. So I'm going to write it as I read it. 2x squared plus 7x minus 10. And the second one as x plus 5. It's a binomial of two terms. So in here, we just need to distribute each of the three terms to x plus 5 or reverse the binomial to the larger trinomial here, each of the terms in the binomial to the larger uh, trinomial. Either way, the commutative property tells us we'll get the same answer, right? One thing times another, if reversed in order, will lead to the same result. I recommend uh, taking the binomial and, ex and distributing each term in the binomial to the trinomial because you have, I think you have lower, less of a chance of making a mistake. Uh, same number of combinations, but I find that it's easier to keep track. In fact, I just tried to solve it in the reverse, and I definitely made a mistake. So uh, what I mean is I take x and distribute it to each term here, and then I would write those products out. So uh, x times negative 10 is negative 10x. x times 2x squared. Oh, let me go in order. x times 7x is, sorry, 7x squared. And then x times 2x squared is what? Well, that's 2 times x times x, or x cubed. All right, next we take 5. 5 times negative 10 is negative 50. 5 times 7x is 35x. You just multiply 7 and 5 and leave that x there. And then 5 times 2x squared is 10x squared. All right, 5 times 2 is 10x squared. So now we want to uh, rearrange these terms um, so that uh, we're able to cancel out and represent this in standard form. Standard form just means that you represent your exponents in decreasing order. So let's take the large exponent first, 2x cubed. It's all by itself. There's nothing else being cubed, so that goes first. Then we have the squared terms here, right? I notice that those are all by themselves, and there's nothing else to match, so I add them together. 7 groups of x squared plus 10 groups of x squared is 17 groups of x squared. Then we have the x terms. 35 minus 10x, so 35 groups of x minus 10 groups of x, that's 25 groups of x. And then finally, minus 50, the, co the constant goes last. So we have 2x to the third plus 17x squared plus 25x minus 50. If you didn't like that, um, another way you can set this up, we just write it over here. Let's see you have 2x squared plus 7x minus 10, and then put the binomial, line up the like terms here, like this and multiply. Some people like this because they're used to stacking and multiplication. So when you do this, you can easily follow. You do 5 times negative 10, 5 times 7x, and 5 times 2x squared. And then x times negative 10, x times 7x, and x times 2x squared. And this will lead to the same result. Um, anyway, hope this helped.